It was still all to play for in the bikes today. Adrian van Beveren on the verge of taking his first ever Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge victory. But there are a few things standing in his way. The chasing Luciano Benavides, along with the rest of the field, 206 kilometers and some of Abu Dhabi's biggest dunes. Benavides on the Husqvarna was first in and riding to hang on to his second place overall. And that meant not making any navigational errors. Of course, he was going to lose time, but could he limit the damage? The answer was yes. The Argentinian was simply spectacular today. Using all his experience, he came through the final stage of the year to post just the seventh fastest time. But with bonus awards added, it was enough to confirm second place overall. I had the, the pressure today to, to open the stage and it was not easy with the high sun, was no shadows in the dunes and also I have a few fast guys behind me, only it was three minutes the difference so I really had to, to give my 100% and, and yeah, looks like it worked and, and I finished second on the podium and two stage wins so I'm really happy. Back in the stage and it hasn't been the week that Ricky Brabeck has been looking for. The American not able to mount any sort of front-running challenge on his factory Honda CRF 450. He'll be glad to see the end of a tough 2023 desert challenge. Brabeck sixth fastest today and seventh overall. Ross Branch now and what a great week he has had here in Abu Dhabi. The Hero motorcycle has been flawless from the word go and Branch has only finished outside the top six once during this year's event. Knocking on the door of a podium, Branch needed to ride flat out today. The deficit to Jose Ignacio Corneo Florimo was just 24 seconds at the start of the stage. Another good performance today on his way to fourth, but it wasn't enough to usurp Corneo and Branch missed out on the podium. Another man who struggled was fellow American rider Skylar Howes on the Husqvarna. One of the favourites after showing so much promise on the Dakar, but here in Abu Dhabi, it hasn't come together for him third fastest in the stage today and ending his week sixth overall. With Corneo now, and he has been consistently banging in top five times this week. Knowing that Branch would be putting the pressure on, the Chilean had no choice but to go absolutely flat out today, leaving nothing on the shelf. And that is exactly what he did. When he crossed the finish line, he held provisional fastest stage time and provisionally third overall behind Benavides. But it was provisional for a reason. Toby Price was still in the stage and the Australian was on a flyer. He came in today down in sixth overall and was absolutely on the pipe on his KTM. On the split times, he was blowing everyone else out of the water and as he cleared the final waypoint, a podium finish was on, but it would be close. Incredibly, he had just done enough to steal third. Yeah, to finish third on the podium, I think, over Nacho by uh, two seconds, I think. So, the races are quite close and, um, yeah, we're, we're happy. So, it's a good championship point, but, uh, yeah, it would be nice to be a little bit further up, but... All in all, uh, it's been a good rally. But the rider of the rally has to be this man, Adrian Van Beveren. He's been pinpoint perfect and his strategy bomb-proof. On the factory Honda, AVB has been the most consistent rider, finishing every single stage inside the top five. He's nailed his navigation and made no mistakes. Add all of that together and you have the recipe required to win at this level of competition. Anything less and don't expect to take that top step. Your overall winner in the bikes, Adrian Van Beveren. This sport is, is crazy. You are riding alone all day, pushing as hell, risking your life, giving all. And the only reason why is that, for sure, it's not Dakar, but it's nice to get a win. Um, another win with the Honda, and I feel really happy with the team. There it is then, confirmation of Van Beveren's victory. His final winning margin over four minutes back to Benavides with Price in third.
And for those riders entered in W2RC, here are the final standings in this year's Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge. Moving on to the Rally 2 class, and French youngster Jean-Luc Lapin came into today leading the category, but third in the stage was not enough to hang on. Nevertheless, he ends his week a very creditable second overall. But your winner, and remember the name because this guy is going places, Austrian hotshot Tobias Ebster. Already picked as a star of the future, he wins the Rally 2 category at his first time of trying, and we caught up with him to find out what makes him tick. Back to the action then, and in the quads, Las Vidas Cancias had to settle for second at this year's Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge. The Lithuanian has given it his all, but problems on day one cost him dear, and he hasn't been able to get back in the fight. All that considered, second is a strong result. But up at the front, taking four stage wins from five, and winning the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge for the third time in a row. It is, of course, the local legend, Abdulaziz Ali. Third win in a row. Very proud to hold my country flag very high. I hope I've made everyone proud and happy. Uh, state was nice and fast and uh, kept pushing till the end, so very happy. There it is then, Ali utterly dominated the quads once again. His final winning margin over an hour clear of Cancius. And after round two of the championship, this is how things look in the W2RC standings.